I'm Zach Palmworth Autoblog, and right here behind me is the 2023 Subaru Outback. The Outback, it's a little mid-cycle refresh this year, so there are some new design touches that you might actually recognize from the wilderness trim. Uh, right away, you see there's a lot more cladding. You see there's the, the cladding goes all the way up into these new headlights, and the grille itself is a little larger. You have these, these big honeycomb-looking design themes going on. And also new down here are these new round fog lights that are fairly prominent uh, versus the ones before. As we move along the side, uh, once again, you'll see this has the big old uh, cladding plastic all down the side here. Subaru says that uh, it, it does provide more protection when you're off-roading, throwing up rocks with it. Um, you know, it's, it's a look that may not be for everybody, uh, but it, it, it certainly takes it more into that wilderness level of cladding on this guy. As we go inside, uh, you'll notice that there's really not a lot changed in here. It largely looks the same as, as what we had before. Uh, one of the big changes though, for as far as tech with the Outback is a new driver assistance sensor and that the, the top trim gets this new, uh, very wide angle camera and that you can actually see from the outside. And Subaru says that uh, this allows better detection of bicyclists, pedestrians, and, uh, it, and also better adaptive crews and lane keeping. So your Outback should very well uh, perform better at those functions. And that is pretty much it for, for the new Outback. This look, a few little tech things, and uh, yeah, mid-cycle refresh done.